So hello everybody and welcome back in one of one more interesting video. Now in this video we are going to look at the single line diagram of 145 by 36 kV substation. Now we, I asked in the previous video wherein we discussed the single line diagram of 36 kV substation that if you want me to make a video on 145 by 36 kV substation and lot of you said yes and hence uh, this video right here. So as we have learned in the video wherein we discuss the five simple steps to understand and read the single line diagram, we first need to identify the structure of the single line diagram. So you, here you can see it's pretty simple. We have some information given on the right hand side and then there is a SLD. So no CT details are mentioned here. So let us look at the uh, details given on the right hand side. So here you can see we have again uh, the bill of material given here. The list of equipment and the symbols that we will be using in the SLD. What you can do is pause video for five seconds and just go through the symbols that uh, is used here. So I assume you have gone through it. Uh, now let us see the single line diagram. Now first we need to identify the scheme uh, circuit arrangement that is used here and you can see there are two bus bars used here. This is the main bus bar and this is the transfer bus. So this is a main and transfer circuit arrangement of the uh, circuit arrangement that is used uh, in this uh, substation. So now after we have identified uh, the circuit arrangement, let's go and look at the single line diagram. Now I assume you, you already know the functions of all the equipment that is used in the substation. If you do not know, then you can watch uh, the video uh, wherein I have explained the function of every equipment uh, for a quick revision. The link for that video is down in the description. You can go and check it out. So here this is our uh, 145 or 132 kV incoming line. This is where uh, the supply is coming to the substation. Then immediately you will see a surge arrestor is used. After that a coupling capacitor and after that a wave trap. Now what is a wave trap? The function of wave trap is to block the high frequency signals and only allow the power frequency signal to enter into the substation. Now high frequency signals are of the communication devices which should not enter in the substation otherwise it would have some adverse effect. So the job of wave trap is to block those signal. Now in order it to work you need some capacitor that is connected in the circuit and that is the reason why here they have used a coupling capacitor. But if they would have used a CVT that is capacitive voltage transformer then the need of coupling capacitor was not there because CVT doubles uh, as a coupling capacitor as well along with the voltage transformer. But since they do not have a CVT here they have used a coupling capacitor and this is the wave trap. Then after the wave trap you can see uh, a 5 core current transformer is used out of which 1, 2, three and four cores are used for protection purpose and one core is used for metering purpose. You can see a detail a ratio details are also mentioned uh, in here. And then after that the supply is connected to the bus. Now we will assume the bus one is active which is this stop bus right here. So supply will come here then it will go to this disconnector uh, which is with one earth switch double brake disconnector again. This is closed. The supply will move towards circuit breaker of 145 kV SF6 circuit breaker. Then the supply will move towards the isolator. Now this isolator is without earth switch and then it will go to the bus 1. Now your bus 1 is active. Now you can see supply will move from right here. It will go down to this isolator without earth switch. Then the circuit breaker. Then the isolator with earth switch and then from here it will go to the top portion. Now if let's say there is some issue in our main bus, now the power can be transferred to the uh, transfer bus and in that case we can open this disconnector, close this disconnector and then continue taking uh, power from this uh, second bus that is bus 2. And for that purpose to couple these two buses we are using a bus coupler. So you can see this portion right here acts as a bus coupler. This couples the two buses so that uh, there is no any power loss and the supply continuity is still there. So uh, the power is coming from here. It is going to the upper portion wherein we again have a current transformer again a 5 core current transformer out of which 1, 2, 
three and four cores are used for protection and one core is for metering purpose and after that again there is a lightning arrester now this is the lightning arrester also uh, you know providing protection to the transformer from the switching over voltages and this transformer is basically a 132 by 33 kV transformer so it is accepting 132 kV as the incoming supply and then stepping down uh, it to 36 kV supply and from here the supply will go further to 36 kV switchyard then it will be further uh, step down and the power will be delivered to the next substation now in the in the video wherein we discussed about the single line diagram of 36 by 11 kV substation i showed you the equipment used and the arrangement used generally in 36 kV a single bus bar arrangement is used now here you can see uh, there is one component here this is isolator and after that there is a pt so it does nothing just it measures the uh, you know voltage of the main bus and it has three cores one two and three so that is the single line diagram of a 145 by 36 kv substation i hope you have found it useful and if you like the video please do click on the like button and do share it with the people you might think uh, would be interested in knowing this so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning